Hey buddies, Sumnuts Guy here. Hope you're having an awesome day so far. In this video, we're very quickly going to show you how you can get your very own Sister of Parvos, and of course, all of the accoutrement that comes with that. Without further ado, let's get it going. First things first, before we go out and get ourselves a Sister of Parvos, we need to decide what progenitor Warframe we want to use. Depending on the Warframe that we use, will determine the innate elemental damage that the Tenet weapon will come with, as well as potential Ephemera that you might get as well. So having a look at this page here will help you choose what Warframe you want to go out and get your Sister of Parvos with. Once you've decided that, then we're going to move on to the next step. Once we've selected our Progenitor Warframe, we need to select the mission that we want to find our sister in. I do this in Hydra because it needs to be a Corpus ship tile set mission. As you can see in the thumbnail of this mission, you actually have that golden hand with the uh, console pad in front of it. This is what we're looking for. We need to enter Granum's Void. This is just a quick capture, so this is the mission that I'll be using for my Sisters of Parvos. You'll want to go into this mission solo because only one person per mission can actually get a Sisters of Parvos. Only one spawns and the person that downs it, the person that kills it, will be able to pick it up and make it an active Sister of Parvos. What you're looking for is the golden hand with the, uh, with the console where you can then enter Granum's Void. I would suggest looking for a map that has it right at the beginning like I do. I had one at the end of a mission. I did the uh, did the Granum's Void, and it didn't spawn me a sister. So I would, uh, if you don't get one at the very beginning, I would probably abort and look for one that has it right at the beginning. Now, once you're here, you do need to use a Zenith Granum Crown. You can't use either of the lower tiers. And you see it says rank 1, 2, and 3, 25, 50, and 75 kills. Well, that is only rank 1 that you need to get to. You only need to get to rank 1 to be able to activate your sister. So you pop in your Granith Crown, you jump through the Void, and then your, uh, once you've finished that and you've gotten at least level 1, your sister will spawn. You'll get a little bit of a, a transmission with some messages, and, uh, and then you'll get a marker for it on your map. You then need to go find her, take her out, she'll be downed. You want to wait a second, see what tenant weapon pops above her head. If you're happy with that weapon, then obviously Mercy kill her, and that will activate the sister for you. If you're not happy with the weapon, you can simply abort or finish the mission, re do it again, spawn yourself another sister, down her, and check the weapon, and hopefully you get the right one there. Once your sister is active, you can check the uh, lit screen, just like you could with a Kuva Lich previously. And this will give you all the information you need. As you can see, I'm partway through mine. I made a bit of a boo-boo here, don't really know what happened there. But essentially what you need to do is you need to collect Murmur, just like a Kuva Lich by going to the sisters controlled zones. So you find the zones of, on your star chart that are controlled by the sister, and you can jump into any of these. You can obviously go to the LFG and type uh, LFG or hosting a murmur farm, and you'll probably get some people that are joining you. From here, it runs exactly the same as a Kuvalich, except for the fact that they've actually changed the way Kuvaliches work in the Sisters of Parvos patch as well. So I'll give you a very quick TLDR rundown on, rundown on how that works. Of course, once you're in the mission controlled by your Sister Parvos, you need to find the Thralls, or in this case, they're Hounds. So the Thralls for the Sisters are Hounds. That doesn't seem to be doing much damage to it. <laughs> but um, once you have uh, taken these guys' health down, they can actually be a bit of a pain in the butt, these guys. A little bit stronger than the Thralls for, uh, for Kuva Liches. Hey, buddy. I definitely don't have the right kit with me. But once you've downed them, you can just Mercy kill them, and you will gain Murmur. As with normal Liches, you have three rings of Murmur that you need to, uh, need to decipher to find your three different Requiem mods. You didn't see it pop up on there for me because I've already done that part, but once you stab them, it'll show you a, a, a progress bar and you need to fill the three rings to then learn the three uh, the three required Parazon mods to be able to take out your Lich. And then this, once you figured that out, once you know the combination, which I do now have, once I get her to spawn, I'll be able to stab her, take her out, and move on to the next stage. And this is what's different with this patch compared to other uh, compared to the Kuva Liches previously because there's now a new additional step to killing your Lich. Alrighty, now that we've downed our Lich, we can get the third strike in. And she is ready to go. Now, normally, what used to happen here is you would then get the choice to either capture them or take them out. And that would be the end of it. Now, 
they have changed the amount of murmur required and how you gain the murmur, so it's actually faster to pass that stage. But there's now an additional stage where you'll need to find yourself a... Uh, she then flees to a specific mission, a Railjack mission. You'll need to complete that Railjack mission, and then you'll need to face off against her. You can do this in a squad, so you can go in a squad uh, again into the Railjack mission, and then uh, you will actually fight each person's Lich one after another in that Railjack mission, and we'll show you that just in a sec. Once you've gotten to this stage, you should be able to see a Sisters of Parvos icon flashing here on your Railjack little tab. We're going to click this, and this takes us to the Railjack menu. We're going to zoom out. We're going to find our Sisters of Parvos mission, which is this little glowing blue one here on Neptune. So we're going to load into this. We can do this solo if we wanted to, but we're going to do it in a public. Uh, and that's going to mean that we're going to get some buddies to do the sister with. We're going to do each person in the squad's sister in turn, so everyone in the party gets to take out their Lich. Alrighty, let's go. So, this will put you into a normal Railjack mission, and you'll need to complete the normal Railjack mission prior to be able to go visit the capital ship, which has your sister on it. So, you need to complete the regular mission first. Once you've done that, you can go to the capital ship all together and take out your liches. And it seems that my sister is the first one to go, which is fantastic. So, we now have my lich, uh, my sister, ready to, ready to go. Me and the squad are going to go take her out. But that wasn't too difficult. See? Not too difficult at all. And there we have it, ladies and gentlemen. And we are going to vanquish you. Get vanquished, son. We do a little spinny flip, garrot choke, stab. Bam. Sisters of Parvos and tenant weapon achieved. See, not that hard at all, guys. Now you guys can go out and find your own ones as well. I, uh, I actually stream five days a week on my Twitch channel every day except Monday and Friday. We're streaming Warframe for a large portion of that time. We're doing 100 Platinum giveaways almost every day. Saturdays, we give away even more. We give away like 40 Platinum per hour on a Saturday. It's always a hype day on the stream. So it'd be awesome to see some of you guys there. Regardless, I hope you all have an awesome rest of your day. Good luck hunting. Take care.